pressure certainly coming. Trevor Kidd. Big save. Now to make a big save there. That could have been disastrous. Trevor Kidd equal to the task because Alexei Yazin was moving in on that one. Well, here he is here. You know, he hasn't had a lot of work to do, and that's, that's even harder on a goaltender. There's a screen in front. Oh, he came across with a big save. They got, you know, that, that should have been buried. I thought the CS should have been one up on that one. But that was good reflexes on, on Kidd's part. He's a good goaltender. Well, he certainly hasn't let his team down, Trevor Kidd. Sean Burke. New Jersey Devils. First choice for this Team Canada team. May have to look over his shoulder for the future. Well, this, this young lad looks like he's got a future. It's got to be difficult. It's the hardest kind of game to sit back and you don't get a lot of work and all of a sudden you get a power play and you get four or five shots. And then you sit back for the five minutes and don't get anything. Here we go. Here we go. An icing call against Team Canada, so the face-off will be in their territory. Good reflex save there, Trevor Kidd, that, last, that shot came out of nothing. It shows how important Kidd's concentration needs to be. It'll be another icing call. CIS turning the screws here in the latter stage of this third session. It looks like it. I think uh, Canada may be just sitting back a little bit trying to weather the storm and that's certainly not the way to go about it they might be tired too it's hard to say they 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 didn't go with a particularly long bench you know some of the key players had a lot of ice time tonight and uh, that might be telling right now well we saw this in the uh, canadians game against sweden that uh, canada seemed to be happy to sit back and absorb pressure almost as if it was part of the policy to see how they would play when they were under the cosh and they rose to that challenge magnificently Lindros looking to set up a breakaway here but it's a dangerous strategy, that, sitting back against the CIS. I wouldn't think it's something that uh, Dave King would, would ask them to do. I mean, if you're a, a far uh, inferior team, then you have to sit back and weather the storm. But there's no reason why Canada should sit back against any team. Uh, possibly the game against Sweden, they just they couldn't uh, sort their lines out. And possibly King said, well, look, if you're in trouble, let's just make sure we're, we're strong in our defensive zone. Certainly, if you've got a fancy one or other of these teams to break the deadlock, then a betting man's money would probably be on the team in white, the Commonwealth of Independent States. They're certainly looking stronger in the uh, dying stages of this third period. You can see a guy like Lindros has had a lot of ice time, and uh, he may just be feeling the pace just a little bit right now. Still, the pressure stays on. You can hear them yelling, use the boards, use the boards. They don't want to, they don't want to create any chances at all for the CIS, but coming up the middle. Keep everything tight to the wall and down deep. Icing against the CIS. That's probably why they've done so well tonight too, Nick, is that is Canada has kept the game wide and kept it deep as much as possible. They haven't tried to do an awful lot up through the middle and give the CIS a chance to pick off a bad pass and all of a sudden go on the offense. So Dan Ratoshny we saw coming out there, which may, may be that we'll see the defensive partnership of Gordy Hines and Brad Schlegel back on the ice for Team Canada. Hines, for me, has been the pick of the Canadian players tonight. Well, I think he's done a good job defensively. And, uh, you know, when, when, when it's a 2-2 game, as it is right now, and he's, he's got one of the goals and he had another good scoring chance. And, you know, you've got to look at him as being probably one of the top players. Him and Shriver, I think, have, have done very well. Yeah, Both Shriver certainly caught the eye assists on both goals 2-2 two, two, though the work rate was what impresses me with a lot of the Canadian players they, nobody's going through the motions they're all out there and they're all contributing uh, there's no passengers everybody's working real hard but the CIS pressing forward once again it's, everyone's locked up on the boards and again, nobody quite know, quite knowing where the puck was on that occasion. We're back on the boards. Canada will hope to keep it there, but it's come out again. Petrenko tries to get it across. Still the pressure on. Team Canada fighting for that one and getting it away. They were in nice. trouble there. They were in trouble. They'll take that icing call. Obviously, Trefilov on the uh, CIS side has caught the eye once again, but uh, Herman Titov, who we saw go off with that nosebleed, he is hustled and harried, and he has got a goal, but he's always been the thorn in the Canadian flesh, hasn't he? Well, he, yeah, he works hard, and that's how he got his uh, bang in the face, is, is grinding it out down the boards. He's, he's a good, solid player. And, you know, they're going to miss him while he, was, while he was off. They've got so many good players. Save 
there from Motkoff. Snap shot. Slap shot. Kidd has come up with some big saves here in the last five minutes. He's, uh, he's looking more like a veteran every time he uh, has to come up with a big save. Wally Schreiber. Oh! Right across the goal from Gordy Hines. That would have capped his game off nicely. But it wasn't to be, and you could hear the, the gasps from the, the Canadian bench. But the pressure stays on. Team Canada looking for the winning goal here. But Andre Trefilov just takes the sting out of the situation. Gloves up. Just scoots the puck around once or twice before letting the official have it. And time starting to be a little bit of a factor here now in this third session. Two apiece between Canada and the CIS. But Trefilov's got to feel the pressure also. He's, uh, he's in a situation where he's had very little to do, and all of a sudden, down comes Schreiber, bang, big shot. And then down comes uh, Gordy Hines, another big shot. It's a funny game for goaltenders. They're not in it, and all of a sudden, they have to come up with a big save. And certainly a goal now for either team would more or less put the other team out of contention. Less than two minutes to go. This face-off very important for the CIS. Canada looking for a late winner. And Lindros has got it. Lindros reacts first to that one. Tries to take it around the net. He's tied up well by the CIS. But it's still there. And Lindros has got it again. Lindros goes down. There's a scramble. The CIS did very well defensively, covering up on the boards there, but it's gone back in again. Dave Archibald looking to feed, find Lindros. Lindros has got it and taking it around. But Archibald has come inside. And the CIS get it away, but not for long. A lot of clutching and grabbing going on out there. The CIS know they can't mess around with this Lindros line. They're grabbing him every chance they get, trying to draw him down. Good hit. Dave Hannon getting in on the boards there, but Hannon may pay for that. And it's the CIS that bring it away. Nicole Shin pressing forward inside the final minute now. Still to a piece. Men down all over the ice. Canada guilty again, Nick. The Russians outnumbering them down in the corner. They had three men down, Canada only had two. You've got to go man to man. This time of night, you've got to take your man out, pin him, don't let anybody back in the play. Almost scored a goal very similar to how they got their first one, walking out from the... And, you know, from what we've heard from uh, the SIS camp, they don't expect a great deal from Trefilov. And, we, of course, we didn't really know what to expect from uh, Kidd. And both of them have come up with, uh, you know, veteran performances. Last few seconds, then. Can somebody break this deadlock? Joe Juno's doing his best. Gets it in. Pressure coming in on that one. One nearly went in for Team Canada. Centimeters away there from Joe Juno, really pressing forward from back deep. But now it's the CIS on the attack. Going around the boards, Kid stops it. See the CIS now, even late in the game, their game plan, get it in, get it in. Don't mess around that neutral zone, put it in behind. That's exactly what they're doing, very much a North American tactic. This one looks like it may be destined for a draw unless Team Canada can come up with something in the last gasp. You can hear the countdown from the kids. Just a couple of seconds to go. That should do it. And there it is. Two apiece. It finishes. The two teams stay unbeaten. They'll pick up three points from their two games. There's the look at the scoring. Just the one goal in that final session from Ravil. Yakubov, very quickly from you, Alex, a fair result as we see the shots on goal tally. Well, I think Canada's very 